The Family Computer Network System Japanese, Famiri Computa Netawa Kushisutemu Hepburn, Famiri Computer Netawa Kushisutemu, also known as the Famicom Net System or Famicom Modem, is a video game peripheral for Nintendo's Family Computer, released in September 1988 only in Japan. It uses a card-based format, reminiscent to the Hue card for Hudson Softs and NEC's PC Engine or the Sega card for the Master System. It allowed the user access to a server that provided live stock trades, game cheats, jokes, weather forecasts, horse betting, and a small amount of downloadable content. The experience Nintendo gained with this endeavor led directly to the deployment of the satellite based Satellaview network for the Super Famicom in the early 1990s. Nintendo would eventually engage in Internet based networking, via the 64DD and its accompanying Randnet service, the GameCube, the Game Boy Advance Cable, the Nintendo DS's DS. Download Play, the Wii's Y-Connect 24 and its shop, the Nintendo DSi's DSi shop, and the Nintendo Network for the Nintendo 3DS, Wii U, and Switch. History Topic development Beginning in mid-1987, Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi requested the exploration of a partnership with the Nomura Securities Financial Company, to create an information network service in Japan based on the Famicom. Led by Masayuki Waimura, Nintendo Research and Development 2 developed the modem hardware, and Nomura Securities developed the client and server software and the information database. Waymura cautioned that they weren't confident that they would be able to make network games entertaining. Five unreleased prototypes of network-enabled games were developed for the system, including Yamauchi's favorite classic, Go. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. The Famicom modem began mass production in September 1988. The accompanying proprietary online service was soon launched the same year alongside Nippon Telegraph and Telephone's new DDXTP telephone gateway for its existing packet switched network. NTT's launch initially suffered reliability problems that were painstakingly assessed by Nintendo at individual users' homes and traced back to the network. Nintendo's sole final application of the Famicom modem was the 1991 system called Super Mario Club. It was formed for toy shops, where the Famicom was deployed as a networked arcade kiosk, serving consumers with a member store created searchable online database of Famicom game reviews. Nintendo performed market research by analyzing users' search behaviors, and directly received user feedback messages. In June 1989, Nintendo of America's Vice President of Marketing Peter Main said that the Famicom was present in 37% of Japan's households and that its interactive game and stock network based upon the Famicom modem had been running for some time. Reception Nintendo shipped a lifetime total of 130,000 Famicom modems. Even after the resolution of stability problems with the NTT's network launch, the Famicom modem market presence was considered weak for its whole lifetime for various reasons, product usability, competition from personal computers and other appliances, and the difficult nature of early adoption by the technologically unsavvy financial customer. Waymura stated that the system's most popular application was ultimately home-based horse race betting, with a peak of 100,000 units used and capturing 35% of the online horse betting market even amongst diverse competition from PCs and from dedicated horse betting network terminal appliances. Topic Legacy Wanting to replicate and expand upon the progress seen with the Famicom modem in Japan, Nintendo of America began a series of open announcements in mid-1989 to describe its private talks with AT&T over the prospect of launching an information network service in America in 1990. The plans never materialized. A modem for NES was tested in the United States by the Minnesota State Lottery. It would have allowed players to buy scratch cards and play the lottery with their NES at home. It was not released in the United States because some parents and legislators voiced concern that minors might learn to play the lottery illegally and anonymously, regardless of assurances from Nintendo to the contrary. Internet-based gambling was banned in Minnesota. Online content would later be delivered to Nintendo's customers via the Super Famicom's Satellaview peripheral. 
Masayuki Waimura, lead designer of the Famicom modem at Nintendo Research and Development 2, said, Our experiences with the Famicom modem triggered Nintendo's entrance into the satellite data broadcasting market in April, 1995. See also 64DD's Japan-based dial-up internet service called RANNET, from December 1999 to February 2001 Nintendo Entertainment System's Teleplay modem Famicom Disk System Atari 2600's Game Line In Television's Placeable Sega Genesis's Sega Channel XBAND Super Famicom's Satellaview